Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The battle for the victory bell began in 1948, and it's up for grabs again today. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Kim is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level and play some more football. Others will be putting the helmet on for the final time. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. yard line the man defense proves to be too tough against the screen that was an excellent job by the defenders they fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop second and nine all on the 26 yard line he's taken down at the 40 yard line and that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch absolutely you know Wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Here we go. Scrambling around. He's at the 30. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. It's first and ten. Ball on the 22. From the 18 yard line, it's third down. Throws a book. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That is not easy to stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. As you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of damage. Touchdown, Duke! Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. He makes the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Hurricanes came into the game ranked seven. They're now bungee jumping, and the board's going to break. And for Pittsburgh, they've won eight games on the season. The Panthers get a W that's perfect to them. Elsewhere, the Razorbacks came into the game ranked eight. A hard-fought game. How high can they stay in the pole? The upset is complete. The Tigers capture the W by nine. You can never overlook any team any week in college football. Wow. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. <laughs> 
So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Second and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Six-yard line. And they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. First and ten. Ball on their own 36. Second, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. He's at midfield. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. Seven yard line. First down. He scrambled. And he might want it all here and done. This one will fall incomplete. What a huge break for the offense. He had his hands all ball he just couldn't bring it in this is the eighth play of this drive Second and five. Ball on the 25. Here we go. 96. And he throws it away. Trouble. 
The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Chapman takes it at the 49, and he's tackled at the 38-yard line. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Scrambling. And a safety with an interception. Well, he was facing a straight pass run. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure would do for any defense. From their own 26 yard line. It's first down. Duke is up a score. the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. That'll make it second and four. at the 30. Tackle made right around the 24-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From the 24-yard line, first down. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Nice run there. Jones gains about five yards on the run. That brings him second and five. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He gets out to about the 18 yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Scrambling around. Just throws this one away. Great shot by the defense in getting out to that quarterback. And right now, they got him with some happy feet. Here's the big grab. Pitchers duel in that low scoring first quarter. Duke leads 7 0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Check three, check three, check three. 
Duke is up by a touchdown. He's got it with room to run. And he's taken down at the 29 yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. First down, 10 to go. All on their own 29. Staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Going left on the counter. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. down and they need to get it inside the 44. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He takes it right side for a good game. That's a gain of six on the play. That makes it first and ten. He steps out around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. He's going to try and scramble. There's a fumble. It's recovered. Good hustle there by the D line. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen. That's what they mean when they talk about a guy who has a motor that's running. He never quit and he played to the wrist. Momentum swings have been fairly even. With so little separation, this game could be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to lead that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Duke is up seven. He fights forward to about the 36. That's good for a game of one yard. Third down. From their own 36-yard line, it's third down. They'll make the sack. 
But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on. And this one is a beauty. He's to the 40. And they push him out at the 46 yard line. This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. And down he goes at the 40. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Nice run, and he's brought down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Scrambling. Got a man. Watch out here. Touchdown, Tar Heels. And did that play ever develop nicely? It's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Wolfpack take the field, the number three team in the land, hoping to prove they're more than worthy. And for North Carolina State, they put up the first points in this game. The Wolfpack lead 7-0. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Kim, ready to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's to the 40, and that's the ball. It's picked up, and they make the stop at the 43. That time, the option play is the cause of the fumble. The offense put the ball on the ground, but give the defense credit for jumping all over it. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Five wide. And he is drilled at the 33. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Taken down at 
to 37. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. from the 23 yard line first down seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Stays in bounds to make the catch. 
North Carolina is out of timeouts. They need to convert down here and end their red zone woes. Kicks up, and it's off the crossbar. No good. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure and tried to fluster this quarterback some more. We've played a half. We're even at seven in this one. And the second half just about set to get started. Dead even. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. That's a tackle. That brings up second and nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. receiver made this play. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. And he tacks on the extra point. So a fourth play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Kim gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. The Tar Heels continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football pit. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He fires this one. The senior makes the catch, and he's taken down at the 35. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. He's going to try and scramble, and he hits him hard to the 38-yard line. Rid of it. 
Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. And down he goes at the 26. It has the distance. No oh, good. He hooked it right. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He dies, and he'll be marked down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 40. North Carolina up seven points. Nice run up the middle. next to me and his backups in the game trying to make the next play. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. He's under pressure. Once and all. Going deep. And they make the stop right around the 18-yard line. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on their own 24. They'll bring him down at the 21. Boy, this 
defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. The Tar Heels quarterback went down with that injury earlier. He's the general of this offense, and they're really going to have to find a way to try to win this game without him. Here we go! how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. That brings us fourth and 11. Wilson is the punter. He's to the 40. Tries to get around the corner. He's at midfield. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. He goes down at the 8-yard line. The Blue Devils have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. They're set to go for another round. North Carolina is up by a touchdown. Tackle at the five. North Carolina is going to use their first time out of the half Three yards there on the option keeper. This linebacker's had a couple of years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. From the five-yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, North Carolina! And he adds the extra point. Excellent kick. Kirk, this defensive lineman has made a statement with his play tonight. Well, this is the kind of guy that any defensive coach just loves. He's a tough guy. He's not afraid to mix it up. And he always seems to be around the football. And I think the thing that the offense is struggling to stop is just his overall speed. The offensive line is underestimating. And quite honestly, I just don't think they have the physical manpower to be able to slow him down and prevent him from making plays. Tackle made right around the 24-yard line. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Gets out to around the 35. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. North Carolina is in front by 14. Into the fourth quarter now. Back to the action. Zips it to the tight end. He's tapping at the 38. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From their own 38 yard line, it's second down. Seven-yard line. Second down. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Green 19. Green 19. He fights forward to around midfield. Receiver, no good. 
Jones. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. There he goes. Slides down to the ground. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From the 35-yard line, first down. They come out on an empty backfield. just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play, the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. He's on the run. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. down now and they need to get it to the 25. He scrambled. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he's taken down the 26 yard line. Now the defense knew exactly what was coming, and they still got out muscle. They'll have to stay out on the field for another set of downs. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. to score. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. And down he goes at the four yard line. He sends this one deep. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Here we go. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Shotgun and five wideouts. Oh, no, he dropped it. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. They come out in a five wide set. Quick throw, and they make the stop at the 43 yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. drive and it resulted in six. He fights forward to about the 39. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 39. Just under three to go in regulation. First and ten, ball on the 19-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Fires out to his receiver. Very good tackle in space. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Jones takes it up the middle. Gets to about the 11 yard line. It's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defenses putting on. Him. No one open 
Guess who he's going to run? What a play to set him up with a first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Under a minute left. They'll bring him down at the two. The Tar Heels using their third and final timeout. They're at the two. Second down. And they'll get him in the backfield. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They go with a run, and they stopped him. So it's fourth and goal from the five, and the offense is still on the field trying to put this in for six. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's on the run. Heading for the corner. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Well, there's a touchdown that we really don't care about. This game is still well out of reach. He tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Clemson and South Carolina in the battle for control of the Palmetto State. And for South Carolina, they've won two straight. And for Doty, he was unstoppable. Five touchdowns on the game. Best way to describe this kid, straight warrior. The Gamecocks took pleasure in opening up the can. Just a total lack of competition today. North Carolina, 35, Duke, 7. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year.